For the ultra-wealthy, a wedding isn't merely a union of families, it's an extravagant showcase of their wealth. So imagine what happens when two such families meet. This was precisely the case when the Ambanis and the merchants united to celebrate the wedding of their children, creating what many are calling the wedding of the decade. Spanning an incredible seven months, this grand ceremony has finally concluded. But it's kept tongues wagging. From people expressing their unhappiness and outrage about the ceremony to rumors of the bride's ex-boyfriend, let's get right into the world's most expensive wedding and why everyone can't stop talking about it. Whether or not you're chronically online, there's every chance that you might have stumbled upon a post from what has been tagged the world's most expensive wedding. Kim Kardashian in particular has been rather generous with dropping photos now and then from her time attending the Ambani wedding. But Kim is just one of the many celebrities to grace this event. From the moment the newlyweds announced their engagement in early 2023, Mukesh Ambani, the father of the groom and India's richest man, decided that he was going to throw an even more extravagant affair than that of his daughters back in 2018. Merely years ago, the billionaire had thrown his daughter Isha the most expensive wedding the country had ever ever seen. It was so grand that even Beyonce herself graced the stage to perform for the guests. The wedding reception was held at Italy's Lake Como, while the main wedding itself took place in Mumbai and Rajasthan at a reported cost of almost a hundred million dollars. Fast forward six years later, and Mukesh was ready to outdo himself. When the news first broke about Anant and Radhika's wedding, it seemed like the entire country was buzzing with excitement. Newspapers were filled with every possible detail of the lavish celebrations as everyone expected Mukesh to throw a grand event. But no one could have predicted just how extravagantly he would spend on his son's wedding. According to the Forbes Rich List, Mukesh, the chairman of Reliance Industry, holds the title of Asia's richest man with a staggering net worth of $112 billion. Reliance Industries is a vast conglomerate with interests ranging from energy and petrochemicals to textiles and telecommunications. Before his son's wedding broke the internet, Mukesh's extravagant 27-story residence in Bombay named Antilla gained worldwide fame upon its completion. The building was said to have cost over $1 billion and has been listed by Forbes as the most expensive private property globally. In 1985, Mukesh tied the knot with his now wife, Nita, and together they have three children. Isha, Akash, and Anand. Anand, the youngest Ambani, oversees the conglomerate's renewable and green energy projects and manages the 3,000-acre animal rescue center in Gujarat. Although he hasn't been in the spotlight much, he gained an iota of fame for his rapid weight loss decades before he rose to the spotlight for his no-expense-spared wedding with Radhika. Anand has faced a series of health challenges over the years, including asthma, steroid use, and obesity. At his heaviest, he weighed 208 kilograms. However, through dedication to a healthy diet and exercise, over 18 months, he lost 108 kilograms with the help of celebrity trainer Vinod Channa. By 2016, Anand proudly showcased his new trim physique. However, his mother Nita Ambani revealed to the Times of India in 2017 that his weight was influenced by his asthma treatment, which included steroids. Steroids, while managing inflammation and reducing airway constriction, can increase appetite and cause water retention, leading to weight gain. Unfortunately for Anand, his hard work dwindled before his eyes as some weight crept back due to asthma medication and the restrictions following the COVID-19 pandemic. On Radhika's birthday in 2020, Anand appeared with a fuller figure, reportedly due to a lapse in diet and exercise habits during this period. Since then, he's maintained a decent weight, but it has remained a topic of discussion for months, especially because Radhika was spotted with her very fit ex-boyfriend, who she maintained a cordial relationship with. 
Before Radhika became the daughter-in-law of one of the richest men in the world, she was allegedly in a relationship with a man named Rohan Malhotra. Shortly after her engagement to Anand was announced, a Reddit user shared photos that feature the former couple from 2013. To date, the duo still follow each other on their Instagrams, and Rohan was even invited to the wedding. In fact, he even performed a dance with a group of friends at the pre-wedding. While it's clear that the duo maintained a close relationship after their alleged breakup, some netizens seem to believe that he is Radhika's true love and she's only with Anand for the money. But the thing is, Radhika herself also hailed from an affluent background. Her father, Viren Merchant, and his wife are pharmaceutical tycoons and billionaires who ensured that their daughter did not rest on her inherited laurels. Although she was raised in wealth, she was taught to work hard to earn a living. Today, Radhika serves as the marketing director at her father's Encore Healthcare. Both graduates of American universities, Anant and Radhika were childhood friends, but the duo never thought about becoming a couple until they were reintroduced through mutual friends in 2017. Radhika might be a year older, but their compatibility seems almost orchestrated by a traditional matchmaker. Yet, it's a genuine love match. The ceremony began in March with the Ambani family hosting a lavish and star-studded pre-wedding party, marking the beginning of a series of grand wedding festivities. The three-day event kicked off in a sprawling 3,000-acre garden located on the grounds of an oil refinery in Jamnagar, Gujarat, the Ambani family's home state. Over the three days, about 2,500 different dishes were served, ensuring guests never ate the same dish twice. The pre-wedding celebrations were nothing short of spectacular. Rihanna performed her full concert in eight years for a cool $6 million, while Justin Bieber, who had paused his justice tour due to health concerns, was paid a whopping $10 million to perform in the July ceremony. The celebrations continued with a Mediterranean cruise in May, where pop stars like Katy Perry and Andrea Bocelli entertained 800 guests with their performances. However, not all artists are swayed by lucrative offers, as Taylor Swift reportedly declined $9 million to perform at a private concert in the United Arab Emirates last December. But no surprise there, as the singer also boasts a billion-dollar fortune. Anyway, the wedding in rain-soaked Mumbai saw elite international guests walking the red carpet at the Geo World Convention Center, another Ambani property. Many guests chose classic Indian attire. John Cena wore an embroidered sky blue sherwani, Nick Jonas sported a baby pink version, and his wife, Priyanka Chopra, dazzled in an embellished yellow sari. The event saw a sea of saris and lehengas, with celebrities like Kim and Khloe Kardashian making appearances in dazzling Indian attires. Fortunately, no one had the time to complain about cultural appropriation, as it appeared everyone was just simply thrilled by the ceremony. The guest list also included notable names like the Beckhams, the Boris Johnsons, the Tony Blairs, Mike Tyson, Mark Zuckerberg, and even Stephen Harper, though his presence was uncertain. The wedding also saw a plethora of Bollywood stars, models, moguls, fashionistas, members of India's revered cricket team, and various dignitaries. The grand wedding was reported to have a staggering cost of over a hundred million dollars, with the entire seven-month series of festivities estimated at six hundred million dollars. Remarkably, Mukesh offered to foot most of the bill for the wedding, but don't be too shocked as the sum represents only about 0.5% of his $120 billion fortune. Despite the opulence, it's worth noting that in India, 40% of the country's wealth is controlled by the richest 1% who collectively hold around $1 trillion, nearly a quarter of India's national domestic product. Income inequality has sharply increased, with the rich getting richer while the poor get mere scraps. These wealthy individuals are often referred to as a new octopus class, with tentacles that absorb profits from various ventures and investments. It's probably why some netizens were outraged 
by the amount of money spent on this wedding. In their opinion, the millions would have gone to better use feeding the poorer population or helping charitable organizations. With this in mind, few begrudge the continuous spectacle amid a culture that celebrates grand weddings and other lavish events. While few in India can afford weddings on the scale of the Ambani's, the trend towards increasingly grand weddings continues as the country now spends over $75 billion annually on weddings, making it the fourth largest industry in the country. Now that the ceremony is complete though, we can only wish the newlyweds a lifetime of happiness and prosperity. What did you think of the Ambani wedding? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you liked this video.